Hey, this is Tammy and I do math for coffee and today I'm going to do a very fast review on how to solve a system of equations. There are three ways to do it. Graphing, elimination, and substitution. Let's look at graphing first. I'm going to graph these two lines on the same graph and wherever they cross that's your answer. Starting with this guy y equals negative 1 4th x plus 4. The plus 4 is the y-intercept so you start by putting a dot there. You use the slope which is negative 1 4th to find another point. We're going to go down 1 over 4. The second point is here. Graph the line and now we're going to move to the second line. y equals x minus 1. The minus 1 is the y-intercept. You put a dot there you use the slope which is a positive one. I know you can't see the one. It's invisible but it's 1 over 1 which means we're going up 1 over 1 up 1 over 1 to make sure we got it. Draw the line and we have an intersection point right there and that coordinates of that point are 4 and 3. If you need to review graphing lines check the link up above. You may be forced to graph this system, but if you get to choose the method for solving the system, I wouldn't go with graphing on this one. There's one that's a lot easier. A couple of reasons. One, this first equation is not in slope-intercept form. It wouldn't be hard to put it in slope-intercept form. No big deal. But you also might not remember how to graph the line y equals 2. That is a horizontal line. What I would do with this one is something else, and that would be substitution. There it is. And what I'm looking at here is it's telling me what the y value equals. In this case it says it equals a number but it could equal something with an x in it. But what we're going to do is substitute this y and change it to whatever it says y equals. In this case it's really simple. I just wanted to have a simple one to make the point and then we solve what we can do here and we get x equals 3. So we have half of our answer now. So this is important. When you are solving a system, you have to have an answer for the x coordinate and for the y coordinate. So let's look at a solve by substitution problem that is a little bit more complicated and that's when the y equals something in terms of x. But we're still going to take this y and put it here. So I copy the second equation leaving a hole in it and what goes in the hole is this x minus 2. All right, now we're going to do distributive property, do a bunch of algebra. The algebra is going to go by fast today, so make sure you're ready to pause. We end up with x equal to 6. In order to find out what the y is, they gave us an equation to find out what y is. It says y equals x minus 2, and we know that x equals 6. There we go, 6 and a 4. We're still solving by substitution, but this one doesn't look right. It's not solved for y, but because there's just a, one, a single y here, this would be really easy to, to manipulate so it is set up the way we want it. So now I'm saying that y equals 3x plus 6, and I'm going to substitute it into the first equation right there where the y is. Do distributive property, we do a bunch of algebra. And we end up with x equals negative 1. And then we put this negative 1 back into the equation that tells us what y equals. And we're going to end up with y equals 3 and x equals negative 1. All right, now this one. If you're supposed to do this one with substitution and you try to solve for y or try to solve for x, no matter how you do it, you are going to end up with a lot of fractions. Most people don't like to do fractions. So there is a better way to do this one. And I'm going to show you that. It's elimination. So here's that same problem, positive 4x and this minus 4x. If you were to smash these two equations together, they would cancel out. Combine like terms, negative 7 and a negative 3 is a negative 10y. Negative 6 and a negative 14 is a negative 20. Algebra, we end up with y equals 2. This little arrow is indicating that I am going to use this first equation, plug the y in, and solve for x. x equals 2 and y equals 2. I'm going to use elimination on this one, but it's not ready yet. I have to manipulate it just a little bit here. The negative 10 and the 3 will not cancel. So I'm looking at these first ones and I'm thinking, well, if I take that first equation times 3 and everything in it gets taken times 3, then I would have a negative 30x. And if I take the bottom one times 10, I would have a positive 30x and they would cancel. 
So that's the technique to use if you want to use elimination, but the numbers don't match. And sometimes you have to play with signs, but in this case, I didn't need to. Those 30 X's are going to cancel. Putting a negative 9Y with a positive 80Y, I get positive 71Y. 9 and negative 80 is negative 71. That means Y equals negative 1. I have to substitute this back into something to actually figure out what the x is. I like this equation, 3x plus 8y equals negative 8, so I'm going to pop it in there. We have y and x, and so we are finished with that problem. I've made longer videos for all of these techniques. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.